Hello, my friends. Let's learn more about using prepositions in English. This video is the introduction, so it is part one, but make sure to come back for more videos about specific prepositions in the future. Maybe you are thinking, Joanna, what are prepositions? Well, every language has prepositions and you probably used some prepositions today. They are short words that show direction, location, or time. These are words like in, at, on, to, for, and through. In total, there are about 150 prepositions in English, but we will discuss some of the more common ones. First, let's talk about prepositions of direction. A preposition of direction can show movement. So not just one location, but movement between two. One of the common prepositions of movement or direction is to. We went to the park this morning. In this case, the preposition to shows the direction of the verb went or go. So we went to the park this morning shows movement between where we started and the park. In a similar way, the train sped through the tunnel shows the direction in which the train is speeding. It's moving through the tunnel. These are some common movement or direction prepositions. We also have prepositions of location. These prepositions show place the exact location of where something is happening. For example, maybe I am on the phone and I say, I'm at Target. Do you want anything? The preposition at is talking about a specific place or location, Target. In a similar way, I'm in English class right now. In shows that you are inside the class. It shows your location. And finally, my friends, time. There are many prepositions of time, and these show points in time, specific points in time, or periods of time. The preposition at is also used with time and we will discuss the differences in a future video. But for example, English class starts at 10 a.m. means this class begins exactly at 10 a.m. And we show this by using at. His birthday is in September. When we are discussing months, this period of time we'll use in. His birthday is in September. So a few general tips for using prepositions. Some prepositions can show direction, location, and time. So it is very important to look at the context. The context is important. If you know exactly what you want to say, it is easier to pick the correct preposition to use. Let me give you an example of a preposition that is used for all three. If you put the preposition in with two, you have a preposition of direction. She walked into the class before me. Into would be similar to enter. So she entered the class before me. But here we are showing the movement of the person starting outside and then walking 
into or inside the classroom. So this is a preposition of direction, into. We can also use in for location. If you are discussing the country or the city or even an area of a city where you live, we will use in. We live in, in the United States. And finally, we can use in for some periods of time. I will see you in the morning. Not at the morning, not on the morning, but in the morning. Finally, my friends, it's very important to notice the relationship between verbs and prepositions. Because notice that in English, prepositions often occur after verbs. If you have a verb plus a preposition that have a meaning together, we call this a phrasal verbs. Phrasal verb. Phrasal verbs are challenging because the meaning of the preposition can change depending on the verb in front of it. So, for example, if you have log in and break in, those phrasal verbs both use in, but they have a different verb in front. So the meaning of in is completely different between the two of those. That's why, my friends, it's important to practice, practice, and never give up. Stay tuned for parts two, three, four, and more.